Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today we are on day 23 of 30 inks, 30 days. But before we get started, I forgot to do this in the last video and that is go over the last few days or the last week of inks. So this was day 16, Warangal Yaros Orna Esperanto. It's a pretty blue and it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Day 17 was Diamine Shimmer Tastic Sailor's Warning. Very pretty. It kind of catches you off guard because it surprises you in that it starts off like a reddish orange and then turns into this coral pinky color. So I'm been I've I really like the, the writing experience with this one. Then we have day 18, uh, Organic Studio, Aldous Huxley, Old World Blue. Very pretty turquoise with red sheen. And now we get into some interesting ones. Wearing gold myth from around the world. Zemina, day 19. And this one, uh, it was not really my jam, um, but you could see all the shading properties in there. And for day 20, we have Troublemaker Freedom Park Rose. This really pretty purple that has some nice shading to it and then for day 21 troublemaker copper patina such a beautiful color and it has that gold shimmer to it and the last the latest day or yesterday was wearing gold don quixote day 22 i just say don q i'm not sure how to pronounce that but yeah, so these were the colors for the past week. Let's move on to day 23, where we talk about the new ink we are going to pick. Okay, so I have everything ready, and now I am going to select my ink for today. And I think I want to go with this color right here. Ooh, look at that. There's some gold in there. I haven't actually picked out a pen, so let me go do that. Okay, so we're gonna use Fountain Pen Revolution. And this one has a nib that um, has the tines that will spread out and do some fun writing. Why I can't think of the proper name for this nib, um, I don't know, I just can't. So this is an ebonite pen and I got it off of the Fountain Pen Revolution website. I haven't used it in quite some time, so not certain how well it's going to do, but because there's sheen, I'm hoping We can get some fun writing going with this. It has a lot of turns just to screw the body back together. Let's let that sit for a second. And I will get my Q-tip. So this is, ah, uh, now I remember. This is Wearing Gold Daddy Long Legs. It's part of the literature series inks. And I forgot to get out my paper. I know this is a light ink, but it has some shimmer to it, I believe. We'll see if we can get that in here. I'm gonna stick this thing all the way at the bottom. Now maybe I picked the right pen for this. 
because we'll get some line variation. So that is how it looks so far. It's definitely a pinky color, but more of a muted pinky color. Okay, so let's see. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So it's not, I don't know, maybe I'm speaking out of turn. Let's wait until this is done. It's very light color. 30 inks. 30 days. So I don't really have to press very hard. You can see how much ink is pooling when I'm pushing down or making down strokes. I decided to put my stamp on the right side because the stamp on the other page really kind of bled through the side. So just trying to hide it a little. Pen. Um, mountain. So it's a bouncy nib, fountain pen revolution, and this is a, I can't think of the word, the nib <laughs> that, well the tines um, spread open and you see the cutouts for, oh it's a flex, that's the word. Okay, so the ink is wearing gold. Daddy long leg. Let's see how it will perform on the Aerofold paper. It's a little bit of railroading.
All right. Let's see how it's going to look here. A lot of shading. It seems like it's a little too light for me. Yeah, it can be difficult to read. Okay, so that pretty much completes today's video. We have our pen, Fountain Pen Revolution, an ebonite with a flex nib, and then this is the swatch. So it's a pretty like light pink if you're into that. It's a little too light for me, but you know, we'll do the Ryan sample and see how it looks tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.